Hello guys, it's me Meg and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's vid, I'm going to teach you how to fit and use SCS compression uh, with your scooter. Let's get into it. Make sure when you're buying a fork, make sure it's an SCS fork and an SCS clamp. There's no point in buying, say, an SCS fork and an IHC clamp. They've got to both be the same compression. That's one mistake I made and I had to buy a totally new compression. It was a pain. So, uh, what everyone struggles with is the headset. So let's break it down into its forms. Okay, okay, so the first things first, the headset would, should come with two bearings, uh, which, you know, twist. And then this cap, I don't know what it's called, I think it's like a crown raised compression cap or whatever. Um, and then a spacer and a top cap. So that's your headset. The first things first is you put your bearing into the deck like that on top. You do the same with the bottom, but I find it easier if you put it on the fork and put the fork in. Okay, so the top bearing and the bottom bearing have gone in. The next thing you need to do is get this and put it over like that. Make sure it fits in that gap. There we go. Then you put the top cap on then the spacer like that so that is your headset i always like to test to see if it's got any head wobble it's got a little bit so just really compress that the down next thing you do is you get your scs clamp put it on top and the most important thing is you need a gap you see that there when you have tightened that up that is your scs complete just give it a little test to see if it goes smoothly and it sure does. Okay guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope that's helped you with the SES compression if you've been finding it difficult. Any questions, comment down below. Bye.